Have you ever witnessed jaw-dropping shots on the snooker table that made you wonder if they were legal? Angles that defy logic, inconceivable curves, and magical pockets. In today's video, we take a look at illegal snooker shots. You won't believe your eyes as we examine astonishing maneuvers that defy physics. Are these stunning shots the result of transparent skill or a touch of wizardry? Join us as we discover. Oh, there is a red ball going towards the pocket. Surely not. That's a horrible outcome. The crew game, oh, it's a merciless one. He seems to have lost his way. And misfortunes keep piling up. But don't count him out just yet. He still has the chance to reverse his fate. Where will the pink land? What an unexpected and opportune moment for a stroke of luck. He'll be kicking himself for sure now. All right, hold on, hold on. This is a tricky one. It's almost straight, and you've got to push the cue through in a straight line to knock this one in. It's in! It's in the middle! You must feel good after that shot. Gotta say it was a tough one, but Bingham's ball run is right up there. He's playing exceptionally well. Oh boy, he didn't even look like he had a chance. But has he fluked it? Unbelievable. Sean Murphy was so surprised, he jumped out of his seat and was already heading towards the table. What a fortunate fluke. The tension at the table must be palpable. So, he had to screw back into the ball, but instead, he attempted a double and got it near the corner. I should have anticipated that shot. Yeah, if it had barked on the funny side of that one, it would have been ridiculous. A wave of affectionate delight washes over him. The unexpected outcome brings about a sense of joy and astonishment. A worry smile graces his face, hinting at a mix of his amusement and admiration for the unpredictable nature of the situation. Indeed, the situation takes an even more astonishing turn. With a gasp of amazement, he realizes that he has landed the cue ball perfectly for the 17th shot. However, he finds himself quite far from the target. The constant pressure is intense, but wow! If that's what's going to take to stay in the match, so be it! What a flick! It's a remarkable display of skill under pressure. Dear me, he was already back in his seat, thinking he lost the frame, but wow, it turned out differently. It looks like what we feared might happen. From a long way out, he was heading half ball onto the brown and then came a huge stroke of luck. And he's trying to fix his shot, snooping on the green, will he be able to make it? Let's see. Intrigued, he scans the page, searching for the elusive green heading. His heart sinks as he realizes that it's missing. And he hopes against hope that it hasn't been accidentally flipped or mishandled. However, to his dismay, it appears that it has indeed been misplaced. And he can't fathom how such a fluke could have occurred. Anthony McGill, who has been observing the situation, is equally astonished and horrified by the unfortunate turn of events. The unfolding scenes before them are nothing short of remarkable, though not in a positive sense. He feels a surge of excitement as he skillfully fips the red ball, but little does he know what's about to happen next. With an unexpected heavy contact, the cue ball's path is altered significantly. He had been intending to play it safe, aiming to screw back into the bulk area for added security. However, to his surprise, the balls on the table seem to defy gravity momentarily as they jump into the air. Realizing that this is his best and perhaps only viable shot, he focuses intently on the task at hand. As he examines the table, he notices with satisfaction that the yellow ball is in a favorable position. Not only that, but the green ball's final resting place also brings a sense of deja vu, reminding him of a successful shot he made earlier in the game. What impeccable timing for a fluke! It's simply astounding. From that particular angle, it appeared almost impossible. Oh, it dropped in right at the prize number. Incredible! It's a cruel game. Oh, has he fluked it? <laughs> oh, dear me. One. That is truly a cruel game, and here is the shot. Popped in. I think surprised about that. Didn't play the glancing blow. Been fortunate to leave this straight to corner. Don't expect him to miss this type of shot. Oh, that's a wide. Not expect that. Where's their all, my goodness? Oh, that's all the young needs. Nine plays the glancing blow and has been fortunate to leave it straight to the corner. You wouldn't expect them to miss this type of shot. No, oh, that's a wide one. Nobody expected that. Oh my goodness! What a surprising turn of events. Well, I didn't quite see that one. One. <laughs> Mark was ready, he was out of his chair. Mark had obviously only seen, from where he'd be sitting there, he could only see sort of like... 
Well, I must say, I didn't quite see that one coming. From the market's perspective, it's evident that they only witnessed it from where the player was sitting. All they could observe was Jamie's reaction when he struck the ball well. Knocked one of these in earlier. Oh dear. Oh, isn't it amazing what happened yeah. in this game? Things start going your way all of a sudden. And this red now for a place, surely. It seems like a stroke of luck or perhaps a shift in momentum is favoring him. Suddenly, the tide has turned in his favor, and he finds himself in a more advantageous position. Now, with the red ball in play, he contemplates the potential for securing a significant advantage in the final stages of the game. The excitement builds as he realizes that he might be in a prime position to secure a place in the final match. However, he knows that he must remain focused and make the most of this unexpected opportunity. Match ball as well, of course. You wouldn't mind that. You wouldn't mind that. Just play a little snooker behind the black. I know he had the snooker already. Of course, well, you wouldn't mind. You wouldn't mind just playing a little snooker behind the black. I know, he had to snooker already. But I'd rather it dropped in and just stayed over the middle pocket. There is a chance he may raise his hand to apologize for the fortunate outcome. When he's hit it. Sign of pressure right there. Why hit it so hard? But where's the blue going? Surely not. Oh, that's that's nice. vile. That is vile. That was definitely a sign of pressure right there. Why did they hit it so hard? But where's the blue going? Surely not in the pocket. No, that foul was vile. A simple enough shot turned sour. But I'd rather have dropped in and just stay over the middle. There's a chance. Oh well, well. After flicking the other red, how on earth has it gone in? One. Stuart put his hand up to apologize. He decides to drop it and rather stay in the mill. Amazing, isn't it? You know, I'd be kicking himself if uh, Ali gets this one. Oh, well, Ali. Oh, there you go. Come on. And the red went in the pocket. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Indeed, he'll be kicking himself if Ali manages to make this shot. Oh well, just as you said, he'd be filled with regret. And now we can see it. He'll definitely be kicking himself over that missed opportunity. One. Huge bit of luck. For one of the most talented players we've ever seen. Yeah, all helps. And Dade is one of the most talented players we've ever seen. His skill and abilities on the table are truly remarkable. He seems to have all the tools to succeed. Wow. Well. Then. It eventually dropped in. Oh then, what a relief. Eventually, it dropped into the pocket. If you like snooker or just love seeing great sportsmanship, don't forget to click subscribe and ring the warning bell to stay up to date on all the exciting action in the world of snooker.